We found that the epidemiology of PCP pneumonia has shifted over the years, with the majority of cases occurring in patients without HIV infection. These patients are generally older, have malignancies or other immunocompromising conditions, and may have worse outcomes, such as higher rate of tracheal intubation and cost and length of hospitalization. I am Amjad Kench, Clinical Fellow at the Division of Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. Our article, Host Factors and Outcomes in Hospitalizations for Pneumocystis gerovecci Pneumonia in the United States, will be featured in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. I would like to acknowledge co-authors Dr. Samhuri, Shehab, and Abdullah and our corresponding author, Dr. Bakir. Pneumocystis gerovecci pneumonia, also known as PCP pneumonia, is the most common opportunistic infection in patients with HIV and a low CD4 count. PCP pneumonia has also emerged as a public health problem in a select patient population with host factors other than HIV. These patients are often on immunosuppressive medications such as corticosteroids and tend to have hematologic or solid organ malignancies, organ transplantation, or rheumatologic diseases and vasculitides. The objectives of the study were to analyze the trend of common host factors of PCP over a period of 10 years and to compare baseline characteristics and outcomes in patients with and without HIV admitted to the hospital with PCP. For this purpose, we used the HCOP National Inpatient Sample Database and identified 3,384 hospitalizations among adults 18 and above in a non-weight fashion with a primary discharge diagnosis of PCP pneumonia ICD-9 code 136.3 from the year 2005 to 2014. The mean age of patients with PCP was around 57 years. 56.7% were males and 22.8% were smokers. Malignancy was the most prevalent host factor at 46%, followed by HIV at 17.8%, rheumatologic diseases and vasculitides at 8.8%, and finally, organ transplantation at 3.6%. Of all malignancies, 60.7% were hematologic. As expected, with the progress in antiretroviral therapy and the regular use of PCP prophylaxis in patients with HIV, the prevalence of HIV among those diagnosed with PCP has significantly decreased from 25.1% in 2005 to 9.2% in 2014. On the other hand, with the increase in number of people receiving immunosuppressants, the prevalence of non-HIV immunocompromising conditions among those with PCP has increased. When stratifying by HIV status, PCP patients with HIV were considerably younger than those without HIV by almost 18 years and had a higher rate of ever smoking. Outcomes were also significantly better among PCP patients with HIV, with lower rates of tracheal intubations, lower cost per day of hospitalization, and lower mortality. After adjusting for age, sex, and smoking status using propensity matching, all outcomes remained more favorable in the HIV cohort, and all but mortality remained statistically significant. In the matched cohort, PCP patients without HIV were 1.8 times more likely to undergo endotracheal intubation and 1.4 times more likely to die. Cost per day of hospitalization was $7,000. And 900 US dollars in non HIV patients and 5,700 US dollars in HIV patients with PCP. The results of our study call for an increase in awareness for PCP in patients with immunocompromising conditions other than HIV and highlight in a certain way the need for clear guidelines for the management and prevention of this serious infection in this particular patient population. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients 
by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.